بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to this uh, Welcome to this recording or this lecture whatsoever and uh, we're recording this this lecture as usual it will be displayed on YouTube at a later stage if anybody has an objection please you can go immediately now so we will continue with this with this course and we're talking now about the ten rules of the TOEFL grammar so to speak we started with check the subject and verb both present neither repeated we finished up with check verb agreement tense and form and today we have check for full subordination if you have any question at any time please raise your hand so that I can give you the floor and allow you to talk So check for full subordination. As usual, we have a list of 10 rules, 10 examples that we need to match with the rules. The first one is A. John Glenn has been a pilot, an astronaut, and a listener who would like to start. Abdullah, please. Thank you so much. Um, John Glenn has been a pilot an astronaut and a senator. Yes, it should be a senator <laughs> whatsoever. And what type of error is this, Abdullah? Sorry, could you please repeat what you have said? So the question is, yes, it should be a senator. And what type of yeah. error is this one? What is it called? Yeah, I think it's, uh, sorry. It is in the okay. It sorry. is uh, it is in, paralysis. In which the... Okay, Abdullah, there is a ca the sound is interrupted. I'm sorry for that. It is a parallel structure. I would like to ask you now to confirm. Can you hear me very well, or is it an intermittent sound that you hear? Do you have any problem with my sound, Abdullah? Would like to say something, Abdullah? Can you hear me very yeah, well? I... Yeah, I'm hearing you very well now. Okay, thank you very much. Now we move to the next uh, uh, next sentence. Women who study engineering find jobs easily, and this one is who would like to answer this question? Saber, please. <coughs> yes, Saber. Uh, women who study engineering find jobs easily. I think there's a mistake. Whom? So it would be who. This is what we call a pronoun problem. Yes, it is. It should be who and not whom. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. So now we Good move question. to the next sentence, and this one it's going to be Mesa. Mesa number C, mathematics, according to many students, are difficult. What's wrong with this one? Um, it is a verb agreement uh, problem. It should be is difficult. So it's verb agreement problem. It should be is difficult. Thank you very much, Mesa. Now we move to, to Fatima. Yes, please, Fatima. Uh, sorry, one moment, Fatima, one moment. Yes, Fatima number D, please. Uh, sorry, sir, I'm not getting the screen. Just now I got it. Okay, that's fine. Now, uh, number D says that salesman tries to charm customers with a gentlemanly, gentlemanly approach. So, what's wrong with this sentence? Yes, this is super information is not wrong. Yes, that salesman tries to charm customers with a gentlemanly approach. Okay, Fatima, you can think about another one, no problem. I will mute you now and move to another person because we're we're not having that good time. Uh, at any time, if please, if you are sure of the answer, just raise your hand and we can give you the floor. 
Now the question is number D, that salesmen try to charm customers with a gentlemanly approach. What's wrong with this? Sabir, please. I'm sorry, I do not get it. What's what's wrong with it? What's what's wrong with this sentence? I'm sorry, Saber, I cannot hear you well. I don't know if you were answering the question or not. Once again, this day is a bit difficult, so I would like to ask somebody to tell me what kind of error is here and how can you correct it. Ali, please. Yes, Ali. Could you please again unmute yourself before you talk? Yes. I think the problem is with the, with a gentlemanly. Gentlemanly. The problem there is, is no, here. No, there is no problem with it, Ali. Thank you very much anyway, but it's not a problem. It's not a mistake. It's correct. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ali. We move now to Zainab. I think she has to say something. What do you have to say? Uh, I say uh, the problem in uh, gentlemanly uh, because uh, uh, the verb uh, approval, uh, approval, I think. No, gentlemanly, there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. And uh, thank you very much, Zainab. Try to remember that we want, uh, first of all, to know the type of error before you correct, correct the mistake. We have some people writing on the text. And yes, I am reading, Russia your text. And you're saying correct usage. Unfortunately for me, I cannot read the text all the time, so if you have something to say, please raise your hand and talk to the microphone immediately so that we can hear your voice and we can get the answer. Mesa would like to say something? Um, uh, the problem here is with the charm with. It should be charm uh, by. Uh, I think it is um, a correct usage um, problem. Yes, as Russia says, it's correct usage problem. It should be a buy. To charm customers by a gentle approach, and it's not. Thank you very much. That's a good question. This just that's the answer. You've answered correctly, and Russia said it is uh, correct usage. Yes, it is correct usage. That's right. So we move now to number E. After to finish class, the group went to lunch. What's wrong with this? Who would like to answer? I try to see people who haven't talked yet, who would like to... Sena, please. Um, I think uh, the, the mistake here is uh, after finishing class, the group went to lunch. So this is called, what type of, of problem is this? Uh, yes, uh, this is a wrong usage. Not exactly, it's a verb. He used the infinitive. Okay, he is the infinitive and not the ing, sure. therefore it is a verbal problem. Thank you very much, uh, Sana. We move yeah. now to the next one, which is students studying Arabic. Well, I think I have to reduce this. The, on the whiteboard, you can see, you can see the, the whole screen. So, okay. After uh, students studying Arabic, they have an advantage if they already know Farsi. By the way, this is wrong. It is not correct because Farsi is totally different from Arabic. It's like chalk and cheese. Nothing is similar except the, the letters only. But they are totally different. Arabic is a Semitic language and Farsi is something else. It's Indo-European language. So this is a mistake and as a fact, it's not a fact. So there is a mistake here, an error in grammar. What kind of mistake do we have? And please stop writing on the on the and the questions. I cannot read you all the time. But anyway, Rashid says there is false subordination. No, it's not a matter of false subordination here. And uh, could you please... Uh, who would like to, to... Okay. Maha, please, Maha. Okay, uh, check for uh, subject to session. It's subject verb, both present neither repeated. So omit okay. they. We have to omit they. Okay. Thank you very much, Maha. Thank you very much. Russia, do you have any problem with the microphone? Do you have any problem with the microphone? Because you're writing all the time on the questions. 
Do you have any problem with the microphone? Yes, you have a problem with the microphone. Well, unfortunately, if you have a problem with the microphone, we cannot hear you. This is the problem. Anyway, uh, even if you write on the questions, we will not be able to read them. For, sorry for that, because we, we cannot concentrate on both things together. I'm very sorry, Russia. And very sorry for every person who wrote something in the past and we could not read it. Simultaneously, everybody stood at the same time. Now we would like to move to Fatima. Yes, please, Fatima. Everyone stood at the same time. I don't see anything wrong with it. You don't see anything wrong with it? Okay, thank you, Fatima. There is a mistake. Are you, sh are you sure there is no mistake? Are you sure? There is a mistake. Anyway, thank you very much, uh, Fatima. Yes, they are very tricky, in fact. But anyway, thank you for trying at least to say something. And I tell you the truth, it's very difficult to see those simple things. Now we have Maha, Mesa, Saber, Fatima, and Zainab. I will start with Zainab because this is numbers. This is the. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, yes uh, Fatima, uh, the wrong or the problem in uh, uh, unnecessarily repeated. Uh, because uh, simultaneous is the synonym at the same time. So you mean it is unnecessary repetition, not repeating. Unnecessary repetition. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's sorry. Mohammed. Unnecessary repetition and not. Yes, so Fatima, this is unnecessary repetition. You cannot say at the same time and simultaneously. Both of them have the same meaning, and for that reason. We have unnecessary repetition. Classes are held in a three floors building near the campus. And who would like to answer? Saber, can you please say something? No, thank you. Uh, would you like to answer this question? H, classes are Number. held in a three floors building near the campus. Uh, number. Uh it's eight. I think. Uh, and take uh, three. And, uh, maybe the flower. In the third, third flowers. No, we cannot say flowers because flowers are just roses or flowers whatsoever. It's a sieve. It should be something else. We'll come back to you, Sabr, maybe with another question. We have Sena. Please, Sena, yes. Unmute yourself, Sena. You're still muted. You are muting yourself. Yes, now you are on okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, classes are held in a three-floor building near the campus. Yes, it is. Three-floor uh, be... building is the, uh, the correct answer. It should be a three-floor three building. Three-floor. Three floor, yes. Not floors. Not floors. And what kind yes. of error is this, uh, Sana? Uh, I think... Uh, word for actually, I don't know, but... Sana, it's I, I think it's a I'm wrong usage. I'm answering the question. It's word form. It's very okay. thank you very much, Sana. It's very important for us to know the type of the error more than the error itself. Now we have Fatima. Do you like to say something now? I and J. Which one do you like to say? Uh, the motors were surprised at the amount of tickets sold. Uh, I think it's R. Promoters are surprised at the amount of tickets sold. Promoters are? No, we can say where. There's no problem because it's still in the passive. <coughs> no problem. So, which one? Maybe surprised with the amount of tickets sold? Surprised with? You mean what you said? Yes. Well, I don't think so. Give it a try. Yes, this is very difficult. In fact, whenever we go down the list, it is now word order. And since it's word order, it should be sold ticket. Uh, That's it. Thank you very yeah. much. Yes, this is very tricky. I know that. Thank you. Now we have the last one. The winners got such a big prize that gave a party. 
and this one is certainly is going to be answered by whom who would like to answer this one okay Fatima uh, Sana sorry Sana please Sana please on the mute uh, <laughs> um, okay um, the, the subject is uh, missing in um, so the winners uh, uh, got such a big prize that they gave a party and what kind of error is this one Uh, the subject in the second sentence should be mentioned. A. So it is full subordination because we're talking about two clauses in this sentence. Yes. Thank you. Very yes. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, okay. Now let me see uh, what the exercise. The exercise says here. Now this is the exercise about subordination is that we have two clauses in a sentence when we have a complex sentence this is the issue so whenever we have subordination we have to a complex sentence two things in one sentence and usually we have a main clause and a subordinate clause the subordinate clause can be an adjective clause beginning with who whom whose and when and will and where etc the subordinate clause can start with can be an adverb starting with while, starting with because, although, etc. Or a noun clause can start with this, that clause, why, what, and how, etc. So we have several types of clauses. But here are the main ones we can say whenever we have who in the sentence, then we have a clause. When you have although, then certainly you have a clause. And here we have the problem because we have some problems with the, with the clauses and full subordination. So here are the examples, and the example says each of these complex sentences will have two clauses, one main clause and one subordinate clause, fill in the blanks with the word, which can begin the subordinate clause, and is called subordinator. I will do the first one, or the, the first exercise. No one knew the men, and here you have to say who, simply because you know that we use who with, with people. Pure gold, which is easily bent, so here we have which. And the guest family disapproves of the boy, you have to say whom, because this is the object. So this is basic grammar, and I think you studied it at school, or at university, whatsoever. Now we have adverb clauses. Adverb clauses say the doctor is over 65, he continues to work full time. So we know that the doctor is very old, still he continues to work full time. Now we can say, although... Although it means that we have a, an adverb of concession. It's an adverb of concession. Copper is much used conductor because it is strong and cheap. Now we have the two clauses related by reason. One of them is the result of the other or an explanation of the other because not. The man would have died if the doctors had not operated, and we have here, well, if. Now the clauses, the, the weatherman predicted that it would rain, and the magician did not surprise, did surprise the crowd. Here we have to say what. The policeman asked what I was in the park at midnight, the policeman asked, for example, you can say where I was in the park at, at midnight. Okay, this, the park is where, so we cannot say where. Whether I was in the park at midnight or not. Uh, okay, whether. We can say if, uh, it's, it's, or we can say when, we can say why, um, anyway. So, do you have any questions about them? These are just subordinators we don't want to waste our time with. Now here we have some examples, and here it says the following. We have the main clause, the rain stopped. The rain stopped is a main clause because it can stand at its own. It has a subject and a verb, in other words. The subordinate clause, on the other hand, cannot stand on its own after the rain stopped. So what happened after the rain stopped, we don't know. This is a subordinate clause. 
The main clause is he lost his wallet. This is a main clause. Which he lost is simply a subordinate clause. Before I start with the exercise, I would like to ask if you have any question about the difference between subordinate clause and main clause. The main clause is simply a sentence, but the subordinate clause is not a sentence, so to speak. Now here is the exercise which says decide whether you have a main clause or a subordinate clause. This is just the exercise. As we say, a main clause is one that can stand on its own. A subordinate clause cannot stand on its own. Who would like to do this exercise? I want the first one, two, three, four, and five. Who would like to do one, two, three, and four, and five? Let me see. Uh, Mesa, please do. Uh, Mesa. Mesa, please, I want the first f five examples. Okay. Uh, number two, uh, subordinate clause. Uh, number three, uh, before the telephone, uh, uh, subordinate clause. And uh, number four, uh, subordinate clause. Uh, number five, main clause. Uh, number six, uh, subordinate clause. Okay, uh, Mesa, I am not. I'm not finished with you. How do you translate number one? Please, quickly. Um, Fast. Uh, number one, it starts to rain or... Uh, number two, uh, the second number one. two. Number two now. Okay. Bada uh, sukut Number three. Number three. Number four. Number four. الذي لم يستطع أحد فهمه الذي لم يستطع أحد فهمه Number five. Okay. Number five. غادرت بسببك. Number six. ما قلته لي. Thank you very much. That's the only thing that I want. Now seven, eight, nine, and ten. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Who would like to do it? We have now Fatima. Please. As soon as the front after the move, this is a main clause. Okay. Because, because the chicken was gone, it's a subordinate. She has been playing a lot, it's a main clause. Then the next one, it's a subordinate. Okay, can you please translate them and please fast. Seven, eight, nine, ten. المغني قام بأدائه بعد العشاء. بسبب الدجاج كان Okay, number nine. كانت تبكي كثيرا. بعد أن تركت بعد أن غادرت المدينة. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's all for you. Now we have another person. We'll start with Shireen now. Shireen, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, uh, 11 uh, main clause, 12 um, subordinate clause. Please, one um, moment, one moment, promote. please, one moment, yes. So, number 12 is subordinate okay. clause. Okay, number 13. 13 sub. Uh, subordinate clause, 14 subordinate clause. 13 subordinate clause, are you sure? 13. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. It's many. Uh, okay. What about no, number 14? No. Okay. What 13? about number 14? Yeah. 14. 13 and 14 main clause? Main, main clause. clause. Okay. Now, could you please translate them? Okay. <laughs> Um, من رآه uh, في المسرح هو من رآه في المسرح um, uh, الممارسة تو, ممارسة الرياضة تحسن الصحة uh, الماء يحس, يحسن المشي um, um, عضلات القدم Thank you very much, that's right. Thank you very much, Shireen. You may, you gave me the correct answers. Thank you very much. Maha, would you like to do number 15, 16, 17, and 18? 
I think yes, because your your hand is up. Okay. Um, whaling is not everything, main cause. Um, that animal are very dangerous, and it may it may it make main cause. Excuse me. I think it can it can be main cause and subordinate cause at the same time. That apples are very oh. nutritious. Yes, it can be both. Uh, Subordinate clothes. Are I you guess. sure? No, no. You, they yes. can, no. It's, this is untrue. This is main clause. Only main clause. Okay. It's not subordinate clause. Okay. 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 Well, the choir was singing. Okay, uh, it's subordinate clothes. Number 18. Uh, if the rice continues to climb, subordinate clothes. 19. Okay, they right after the line. Uh, main clothes. Number 20. Okay, it's very very similar with subordinate Now, okay, I would like Subordinate. to ask you, I would like now to ask you to translate those sentences. You started with number 15. Uh, winning is not everything. Najah lay masik kulla shay, or laysa kulla shay. That others are very nutritious. Okay, um, uh, has a tofah, uh, no, this is incorrect. This is incorrect because that here means Anna. And this is subordinate. Okay, clause. um Okay, it, it seems that it has many clothes. Because that this is that. If it were a many clothes it would be those or these. Okay, I'm alright. Number seventeen. Uh, okay. أثناء غناء الكورس في أثناء مطر أثناء يس نمبر أوكي إذا استمرت الأسعار في الارتفاع نمبر 19 أوكي وصلوا بعد انتهاء الوقت مثلا نمبر 20 أوكي على الرغم من على الطريق أوكي ثانك يو فيري ماتش نو إتس نوت ثلج إتس جليد أوكي ثانك يو فيري ماتش anyway now we move to the next exercise. I just put down your hands because we need to see who would like to do that. Now here it says that we have to differentiate between two things. We have a clause. A clause is not a sentence, but it has a verb. A phrase, on the other hand, is not a sentence and it doesn't have a verb. So before finishing, you know, there is no verb for that. It says a phrase. If the doctors operate soon, what kind of uh, utterance is this? Is it phrase or clause? And I think Zainab, Naysa, uh, Sana, Ali, we would like to start with Ali. Please, Ali, which one is a phrase and which one? Yeah. Yes. In, uh, number two is uh, subordinate clause. Okay, so it's a clause. Okay. Yeah, it's a clause. Yeah. Clause, yeah. Subordinate clause, yes. What about the next one? Number three is uh, a clause also. Because it has a verb. What about number four? Yeah. Number four, uh, it's a phrase, not clause. And what about number five? Number five is a clause. And I would like you now uh, to ask you now to translate all of them, the five sentences now. Number one, before finishing dinner, قبل انتهاء العشاء. Number two, if the doctors operate soon, إذا الطب إذا الطبيب يشتغل مبكرا. Number three, operate means يجري عملية. يا operate إذا الدكتور إذا الأطباء أجروا. نعم. Number three, whom the. نعم. Number three, whom the committee choose. أيه اختار اللجنة؟ الذي اختارته اللجنة. Yes. What about number four? نعم. Number four. After the class, after the last class, بعد الصف الأخير أو الحصة الأخيرة. Okay. Number five. As the sun, as the the sun set behind the hill, بينما غروب الشمس خلف التل. مع غروب الشمس خلف التل. Thank you very much, Ali. And I will lower your hand now. We move to 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we will have with us, we have uh, Shirin.
please. Yes, yeah, six clues because it has a verb. Um, seven, three, eight, uh, uh, clues because it has a verb. Um, nine, three, ten, clues. Okay, thank you very much. Would you like to translate them for us, Shirin? Okay. Um, لأنه ولد في فيرجينيا. Um, وقف في صف طويل. Not وقف because you said there is no verb. You did say that there is no yeah. verb. Standing in a long uh, واقفين, line. Yeah. واقفين أو واقفين. واقفين. Yes, واقفين أو واقفين. Yeah, واقفين. واقفون أو واقفون. 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 <تصفيق> في صف طويل اوكي هنا في صف طويل نمبر 8 الذي يا الذي خاب ممكن نقول ضربه مثلا السائق بالسياره شيري بليز جيف مي ذا ترانسليشن ويزاوت اني ترانسليشن آه، نموذج لبناني آه، رخيص نموذج ياباني رخيص اوكي آه، قبل توقف آه، الامطار او المطر اوكي ثانك يو فيري ماتش شيرين ذات واز فيري كايند اوف يو تو اس ذيس كويستشنز اند وي ار اون بيج 165 ويت اون بيج 165 وي ستيل هاف اباوت 15 بيجز اون ذيس تشابتر سو ليتس موف تو 11, 12, 13, 14, 11, 12, 13, 14, and who would like to answer these questions? I think we have Abdullah and we have Sabir. Abdullah? Number 11, phrase. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Number 12, close. Number 13, Number fourteen, close. Yep. Number fifteen, as soon as it is close, over, close. it's a close. Thank you very much. Would you like to translate them for for us, please? Yeah, yeah, surely. Uh, we started from number eleven, right? Sure. يعني أم القيادة لمسافة خمسة وخمسين ميل لكل ساعة ميلا ميلا آه بالساعة بسرعة قيادة السيارة بسرعة خمسة وخمسين ميلا because it's تمييز منصوب في الساعة so this was an incorrect okay. translation that I connected for you number 12 yeah. Yeah, okay. number 12 Uh, she passed easily. I think. الذي نجح بسهولة. الذي نجح فيه بسهولة. Which he passed easily. الذي نجح فيه. الذي نجح فيه بسهولة. Okay, number thirteen. سهول. تمرين كل صباح. ممارسة التمارين الرياضية كل صباح. Number number fourteen. لغاية لغاية انتهاء الصيف. What about number 15? حالما تنتهي. Thank you very much. I think you made some excellent job here. We have Amina. Please, Amina, we are waiting for you now for 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 16. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, 16 is, uh, is phrase. 17 is subordinate. It's a subordinate clause, therefore, this is a clause, okay? Mm -hmm. 18 is a clause. Okay. 19 also close. 19 is a clause. Where is the verb? Uh, talk. No, there talk. is a phrase is not because the talk we yeah. have, a, yeah. we have, a, and number twenty is uh, he had gun. Uh, it's also a phrase because we have had gun. Had gun is it a phrase or is it a verb or a noun or what? 
what's part no, of no, the no. Speech. It's a close. It's a close. So it's a close. Okay, uh, I understand. They are very difficult sometimes. So we would like to have a self-correcting typewriter. How do you say that? Uh, in, uh, 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 in fact, this is not a tasheeh al-dhati al-tibaa. It is al katiba to sahih hu nafs akhtaa hadatiyan. Al katiba to al katiba. Al katiba to sahih akhtaa hadatiyan. Hadatiyan because we have an adjective here. What about number seventeen? What he did during the vacation? ماذا فعل خلال العطلة? In fact, not ماذا فعل because otherwise it would be a sentence. What he did during the vacation is a clause, which means now الأمر الذي فعله خلال العطلة. This is a clause. But if you say ما الذي فعله, this is a full sentence, and we don't have a full sentence here. Number eighteen. حيث اعتادت أن تعيش. No, you're excellent. You're doing well now. Yes. During the president talks, خلال خل خلال حديث الرئيس. Fine, number twenty. That he has gone. لأنه أن الحقيقة أن. Oh yes, that's right. حقيقة أنه. حقيقة أنه أفلس. أنه أفلس. Yes. Thank you very much, Hamna. That was a very good. Exercise for you. I am. I think now we move to Wala. Maybe would like to say something. And Wala, this is the exercise. It is on page one hundred sixty-five, which says we have to differentiate again between main clauses, subordinate clauses, and the phrases. So we have a full sentence, main clause. We have a subordinate clause. It is not a full sentence, but it has a verb. And finally, we have a phrase which has no verb and it's not a full sentence. And 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 so, so we would like you to ask you please, uh, Wala, to do for us the first five sentences. So we have number one is done. So number two, three, four, and five, which is used to make chewing gum. What's that? Yes, Wala. So we're listening to you now. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. With the number two, you mean? Number two, yes. yes, please. Yes, number two. I can't hear good. Number two, which is used to make chewing gum? Which is used? Okay, well, uh, is it a phrase or a clause or a main clause? I think it's uh, which is it's a phrase. No, it's not a phrase. No, no it's a clause. No, no, what kind of clause? Is it subordinate clause or main clause? Supporting clause, which is used to make chewing gum. Supporting? Supporting clause, okay. Supporting clause. What about number um, three? Famous, okay, a, a famous talk show uh, host. It's a phrase. Five. Her hopes for, Her hopes for, the, future. for the future. For the future, okay. Um, it's um, uh, close. Where is the verb? If it's a close, it must have a verb. Okay. So it's subordinating? If it's a subordinate close, it must have a verb itself. Okay, it's a phrase. <laughs> you give up, it's okay, a phrase, yes. Decision. Fine. The okay. population increased Sorry. greatly. What kind of a thing is here? It's a phrase too. It's a phrase. phrase? So it, it doesn't have it doesn't have any verb. The population increased you know uh, increased as a as a verb. So what kind of clause is it? Is it a main clause it's or a subordinate clause? clause? Main main clause. It's a main clause, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much, Wala. That's you answered the questions, I think, now correctly. Now we would like to move to number six, seven, eight, and nine. I would like to ask somebody to translate them, not to answer them, but to translate them into Arabic, please. Who would like to translate them into Arabic? And I think Mesa, please. Doctor, uh, I have a question uh, before uh, answering this one. Uh, in um, uh, the previous exercise, uh, so uh, could I ask it? Please. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, in number five, in exercise uh, S3.4, um, uh, we said that uh, number five uh, is the, a phrase, uh, but I think it is uh, a subordinate clause. Uh, and I think that uh, sit here is the please, uh, please, which page are you talking about? Um, okay, uh, page. Mm, sorry. Is it um, 164? Page, uh, 164, yes. Yes, so it's not a clause, it's a phrase. Is that what you say? Now, uh, um, number five, uh, I think um, the one who answered this uh, one says that it is uh, a phrase. No, right? he said no. He said it's a clause, and here we have on the whiteboard. Oh, I yeah, okay. Answer. It is C, which is a clause, not a phrase. So, anyway, you're right. Yeah, and he is okay. Right. Okay. So we have number yeah, five okay, here. The population increases greatly. Could you please translate it? Okay. Uh, okay. Zayda, uh, can Zayda kabira? Yes, I would like all of you to focus on this one. زيادة كبيرة مفعول مطلق. This is the correct way of translating greatly. It's not بشكل كبير certainly. It's a greatly مفعول مطلق cognate object which is now زيادة كبيرة. Okay. What about several different writing systems? This is number ten. How do you translate it? Number ten. Yes. Page one hundred sixty-five. العديد من أنظمة الكتابة المختلفة. We do not have العديد, but you can say مختلف. عدة. مختلف. مختلف. مختلف أنظمة الكتابة. That's all. كثير من مختلف. That's fine. مختلف is fine. Both of them have the same meaning. Thank you very much, Mesa, for helping us through this exercise. And I will now move to someone else. And in order to give you all the opportunity. That you deserve, I will just lower your hands again, and you have to raise your hand. Okay, we have Ali. Ali, would you please translate for us 17, 18, 19, and 20? Yes, Ali, would you like to translate number 17, 18, 19, and 20? Anything wrong with you, Ali? Maybe I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe you don't have the mic at the moment. Uh, we have Fatima. Okay, Fatima, please. And after Fatima, we'll move to Zainab and then to Abdullah. Number 17, please. It's wrong. We cannot say Taish. This is the problem of translation now. It's not Taish Tamasih fi Florida. Tamasih fi Florida. And this one is called Al-Qaturat, one type of the crocodiles. So here we have a problem in translation, and this is why we translate those sentences, those phrases, those clauses. You cannot say, تعيش التماسيح في فلويدا, but you have to say, التماسيح التي تعيش في فلويدا. So it makes sense that we're translating them here from English to Arabic. Number 18. قبل طباط التضخم قبل okay number 19 لان درجة الحرارة لا تكون عالية ابدا number 20 المشي يحرق السعرات الحرارية يحرق كثيرا من السعرات الحرارية that's correct. Thank you very much. Now we will move to another exercise, and we are, I think, on page 166. And here we have something more complex. Again, we have to decide whether it's a main clause, subordinate clause, or phrase. And as I said, we will move now to. We have uh, Zainab. Please, Zainab number number two. In a group of American. Musicians, the drummer, will probably serve as a leader in a group of African musicians. Is that a clause, a main clause, a subordinate clause, or phrase? Yes, yes. In a group of African musicians, uh, I think uh, um, this um, 
this uh, this uh, many clothes or uh, a phrase. So it's a phrase. phrase. Yes. Uh, yes, it's a phrase. phrase yeah. What about number three? Before he entered public service in 1794. Uh, this uh, subordinate clause. Now what about number four? Former mm -hmm. President mm -hmm. Dwight Eisenhower. Uh, uh, this main clause. This is a uh, main clause. clause. Yes, definitely. Like definitely, it's a main clause, and I would like to ask you, please, to translate the subordinate clause of number three before he entered yes. public service uh, in, in 1794. Thank you very much. Okay, yes. thank you very much, Dana. Very kind of you to answer these questions and to help us with this one. We will move now to the next few sentences. Number 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. We are on page 9, 166. I think did I promise Abdullah? Yes, it was Abdullah whom I promised to give the floor. Yes, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, number 9. Will winter descends in the north? Yes. The weather in Polko, Mexico, is warm and pleasant. Okay, when winter descends in the north, what kind of yes. thing is here? Phrase. It's a phrase. phrase. So it doesn't have a verb, you mean? No, 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 it's yeah, descends. Sorry, sorry. Could you please translate it into sorry. Arabic it's, now? Yeah, it's not a phrase. Could you please right. translate this one? When winter descends in the north. Yeah. Um, عندما descends okay, عندما just say عندما يهطل okay عندما يهطل المطر في الشمال okay it's not a matter of rain here but we have, we have winter so you say عندما يحل الشتاء في الشمال okay now number 10 okay an accountant is a person organizes, maintains, analyzes, and interprets financial records. So an accountant it's is a person. A, it's, what a kind of, it's a phrase. It's a phrase. Yes, it's a phrase, phrase so person. it uh, does not have a verb. Yeah. It does not have a verb. Could you please translate it? Yeah. المحاسب هو الشخص الذي ينظم So, المحاسب هو شخص. المحاسب هو شخص. This is a full sentence. It is Mufta and Khabar in Arabic, but it's a subject and a predicate in English. So it's a full sentence. There's no problem with it, and there's a verb in English, which is as, and therefore it's a main clause. It's not a phrase. Number 11. Okay. An ancient Chinese medical procedure, acupuncture, involves the insertion of thin metal needles into various parts of the human body. I will stick in phrase now. Yeah, this is a phrase this time. You will write this yes. time. And just the translation of this phrase into this sentence is as follows. Okay. يُعَدُّ الْوَخْزُ بِالْإِبَرِ Acupuncture, you start with this one. يُعَدُّ الْوَخْزُ بِالْإِبَرِ إِجْرَاءً طَبِّيًّا صِينِيًّا قَدِيمًا وَيَتَضَمَّنْ etc. 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 So this is the way that we translate because this is an adjective clause. It's an adjective clause that is preposed, so to speak, and this is what we call transformational generative grammar. So, number 12, from 6 to 20 feet. From 6 to 20 feet, I think it's a phrase also. You don't need to think it's a phrase because it is a phrase. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you very much for helping us out for this exercise. Uh, the issue now is how to translate all of these things. It's very difficult to translate them sometimes. And let me give you this challenge. I will just lower your hands because I want somebody to challenge me by saying that I can translate translate something that I will choose now. Number 18. Uh, Ali, sorry, I will just lower your hands, all of you. And number 18. Who would like now to translate number 18? Please raise your hands if you can translate it, if you can challenge me and say that I can translate number 18. First of all, born in Athens about 469 BC. This is a phrase and this is what we call an adjective phrase. It's an adjective phrase. 
that's that's proposed through generative grammar, through transformation in generative grammar, and Socrates was the son of a sculptor. If you'd like to say something, please say it. Now, who would like to translate it? Sculpture, Nahit. I'm just helping you out with this one, which is the most difficult, maybe. Okay, son Ibn, Ibn Nahat. This is another difficult one, and maybe Socrates, this is a difficult one, which is Socrates. So we will, yes, Ali is insisting on answering this question, and I would like to ask Ali to talk. Yes. Yeah, number uh, number eighteen. That the, I think I uh, I will translate this sentence in this way. Socrates uh, كان ابن للنحات الذي ولد في أثناء عام أربعمية وتسعة وستين قبل الميلاد تقريبا. So you have a problem here because you're talking about النحات هو الذي ولد في أثناء عام ألف أربعمية وتسعة وستين and this is wrong. What you have to say. سقراط الذي ولد سقراط الذي ولد في أثينا عام 469 قبل الميلاد كان ابن نحات You can also say ولد سقراط في أثينا حوالي 469 قبل الميلاد وكان ابنا لنحات So you made a very big mistake because instead of saying that it was Socrates who was born in 1469 you said his father the sculptor was born in that year Thank you very much for the wrong answer, Ali, but good luck maybe next time. So, who would like to challenge me now and say that he can translate? I will just lower your hand again. And who would like to translate number 20? Which page are we on now? It's 167. Number 20, Saturn is... What kind of Saturn is that? Is it a Zuhra? Well, I think it's a Zuhra, yes. Or Zuhal. Saturn, it should be Zuhan or Zuhra, I, I, I don't know. So we will have uh, Maha, please. Number 20. Zuhan is the from the sun. <laughs> you can say border on the okay fine thank you very much <laughs> well I think you made a good answer here uh, we have here some examples about how to differentiate between adjective clause or main clause I don't know I I think there are some of them are main clause some of them can be subordinate clause together and here this is the issue so Number two, whom did they visit? This can be translated in two ways. Who would like to challenge me and say that he or she knows how to translate it? Uh, Zainab, do you know how to translate this one? Please do. Okay, this one is man ala What about number two? Whom did they visit? It can be translated in two ways. As a main clause, mm -hmm, yes. it can be translated as something not as uh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry, this is my mistake. This one has only one translation which is Alladin Alladi Zaruhu, that's all. But uh, number three, in fact, is the one that has both functions. Sorry, this is my mistake. So, uh, number three. Man, number yes. three can be translated to different, uh, different ways. Yes. Man fashila fil al So, man fashila fil This is a question. And you can say, الشخص الذي فشل في الاختبار النهائي. It's going to be a subordinate clause. I'm sorry for the mistake on my part. And thank you very much, Zainab, for helping us out in this exercise. We will move now to Sana. Sana wants to say, that uh, that she she wants to say that she can challenge us with something, and I would like to ask her, please, if she can if she can translate number fourteen, and this is Sana number fourteen. How how can you translate it? 
Number 14. At what time did he leave? Yes. At what time? At what time? متى غادر؟ أو ما توقيت ما التوقيت الذي غادر فيه؟ So, متى غادر is better. Come on, please, Sana. It's better, much better, much okay. easier. Why do you have all the time to change your mind? And no need for changing your mind. Thank you very much, Sana. And that's the only translation possible for this sentence. So, let's see another one. Number 18. Number 18. And here we have Sadr. Could you please translate number 18? Which he bought his his book into his books into. Okay, this is the sentence. Uh, this is the, the clause whatsoever. So, what's the Arabic translation of this of this clause? الذي وضع كتبه فيه. Because we have into. Thank you very much, Saber. You helped us with this one also. And now I will simply look for other people who's ra who are raising their hands anyway. Now we have this example about the complex sentence using who, whom, which, that, where, and when, etc. I will skip this exercise on 168 and move to something else. Uh, the exercise that we will have now is on page 169. And here it's something different. I will lower your hands. No, I will not lower your hands. In fact, I will ask Amina, please. Amina number one, it says Greater Britain, which is now an island, once part of the European mainland. Which one? Is it which? Being with or was? Remember the rule which says check for the subject and the verb both present by the repeated. So, uh, Great Britain, which, which is now in Iceland. Island, yes. Uh, was, was once. Uh, Thank you very much. Yes, that's the that's correct answer. Yes. I'm sorry I have to move fast, a, bit, a little bit fast to finish with this exercise. And uh, the province of Brittany, a peninsula that juts out in the Atlantic. And we have with us, I think, we have Mesa. Lies on number C. So you say that we are, we need to have a verb because check for the subject and verb both present neither repeated, then you are right. Thank you very much, Mesa. I will move now to to Aya. We have Aya and we have Ola, but first of all, we will move to Aya. What do you say about number three? Uh, yeah, what do you say about number three? You remuted, so could you please unmute yourself and talk? Yes. Um, oh, I, doctor, um, I have a request. Uh, can we uh, solve uh, the, um, the exercise in page 167 because it's very difficult and I can solve it? Okay, fine, fine. I will go back to 167, no problem. But in the meantime, could you please do number three? Okay. Um, I didn't see the whole page, uh, so I can't see the the question. Yeah, you, you don't have the oh, okay. um, you don't have the page. You don't have the book. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now no, I see no, it. No problem. Yes. No, no. I see. Okay, fine. Yes. Uh, number three. Being. Is that what you say? Elizabeth part. Um. Number three, Elizabeth who? Browning, who? If you say who, then we need to have a verb. Uh, who remembered for, we do not have who remembered. We do not have this one. So this is wrong. We need mm. full subordination. Full subordination means that when you have who, you must have a verb. But remembered alone is just a past participle. It's not a verb. And you know, the passive voice needs something like the participle, first of all. And it needs also an auxiliary verb, and the auxiliary verb is what? Who's who is number B? Who is, yes, it's number B, yes, thank you very much. And uh, 167, you said, okay, we'll go back to that one. 
thank you. We move now to, I think we have Wala. Please, Wala, could you please say something about number four? Yes. Um, the Adriatic Sea, which is lies between the coasts of Italy and the former Yugoslavia. Um, I think we need a verb, so it's an arm of the Mediterranean Sea. Exactly, we need a verb because we have subject verb both present my very repeated. Thank you very much Wala for helping out uh, for helping us out in the sentence. Thank you. Very good what you say is very good. I think